Yo, what is going on YouTube? Hope everyone's having an amazing day today. And yeah, in today's video, we got an amazing GTA 5 video for you. All you want to do is make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you are new around here so you're always kept up to date with the channel. As well, follow my Twitter at YTVenomPlays. It'd be much appreciated. Also, shout out to this amazing person on screen right now. If you would like a shout in a future video, all you have to simply to go ahead and do is comment hashtag VenomPlays. And I'll be sure to show you in a future video. Now let's go on to the video. If you're looking for the best account services such as mod accounts, money drops, cash drops, uh, mod outfits, any GTA 5 service then be sure to check out Digizani. Digizani is an online platform that allows you to get the best deals on mod accounts, mod account services, anything like that, the good stuff. Then be sure to check out Digizani. I'll leave a link to all their information down below in the description. Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you the workaround for Give Cars to Friends glitch. So all you want to do is make your way over to the agency, and then from there, have your friends start up kind of a job. Now what they want to do is go ahead and invite you one time, so then you can go ahead and decline their alert. So then that way, when you do it the second time, it will actually load 100% faster. From there, once you have declined it, walk in and go in or alone. And then what you want to do is second you hit enter alone is you just want to have your friend send you another invite and the second you hear your elevator door just simply go ahead and accept that invite. Once you've done that there uh, you will actually see a little cutscene from your elevator door frozen that is how you know you hit this here part and then you will load into your friend's mission. From there you just want to ditch your friend and their job and then you will be returned to back to online. Now once you've done that when you are in online, you will actually have no minimap. That is how you know you are 100% good to go for the next part. If not, simply go ahead and try again and then see until you get your invisible map. From there, make your way over to the actual arena and pull out an arena vehicle from the interaction menu or just call your mechanic. From there, go and enter the actual workshop level. So that's why you want to make sure you have a vehicle from your arena and the second you hit enter, the workshop level then you just want to press y to actually exit the vehicle and if you hit it correctly you will fall through the map once you've fallen through the map go rc bandito and then exit the rc bandito and then once you've done that make your way over to the actual glitch out spot where everyone else goes to for a meetup so yeah basically i'm just waiting here quite some time for actually night of power to bring out the porsche as he currently does not have the brain cells to actually bring out the car when he said he would so yeah, I'm just waiting here for some time and beat up some paramedics with some random guy who is also waiting for nightly fire. He is absolutely useless. So yeah, once he actually did finally show up with the Porsche, then all you want to do is make your way to the bike gear MOC. From there, all you want to do is drive to the bike gear MOC, hit right in the D-pad, and then it will kick your friend out of the car. Your friend wants to actually be on that there pause. Once you've biked up, uh, then you just want to go Franklin twice, then run to the bike your MOC and go enter alone. Once you've gone enter alone, go to the story mode alert screen once again. You just want to keep flicking down and up on your analog stick to actually get the alert, then decline the alert and then pull out the Porsche. But like I said, Nightly Power is completely useless when doing this, so he did not actually have the car. So I had to get a trustworthy person who could actually come in clutch with the car. So yeah, I did actually have to speed this here up, so do not pay any attention to this. This is basically if your friend takes edges with the car, to actually stay invisible, you just want to keep going down and up on your analog stick to decline the alert. So yeah, once you finally got your friend's car, simply go ahead and get inside the car, and then it will actually take you into the bike here MOC, and bing bada boom, that is you done. 100% you now have your friend's car. To actually repeat this step, simply just do the MOC part where your friend actually gets in your car again, and boom. So yeah, that's it for today's video. If you're going to enjoy it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. As well, we will be live streaming tonight. So when you're watching this video, we'll actually be live streaming over on Nightly Parts channel. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. Jesus.